it's a secret government that worship an owl. They practice witchcraft to harness their power. Pedophiles rape little kids for energy. The satanic ritual, WTC. RIP. They lit the Pentagon on fire. That's lighting the pentagram on fire. One thing I always wanted to know, man, is what woke you up to the New World Order, these globalist elites and eugenicists? Um, the main thing that woke me up to it was, uh, was a writer named Dr. York, a spiritual teacher from Brooklyn. He had a, a whole community over in Bushwick, on Bushwick Avenue, called uh, the Answer Allah community. They were, like, uh, real heavy into, like, just studying the origins of religions, of cultures, of, you know, uh, politics, of the origins of everything. And that's how you really get to the bottom of things when you study the origins of it. So that's what I learned reading his books, and it, it all came from him. Ron Paul just came out in new CNN poll that he has the best chance to beat Barack Obama. How do you feel about that in the in the upcoming uh, 2012 elections? See, you know, I love Ron Paul, man. I love what he represents. You know, I read his books while I was locked up, the, um, and the Fed and all that. Um, yeah, man, I, I would like to see that happen because I would like, I like, I like, I would like to see him shake things up a little bit. You know what I mean? I like that type of shit. Where, you know, shake these people up a little something. Dude. We need that out here. He's talking about ending the Federal Reserve, getting rid of the private bankers, and it's, it's some pretty cool stuff that he's talking about. And he's he has a chance to win. Um, you know, but let's be clear, that's not happening. Yeah. They're not gonna let him win. You know what I mean? I, I I wish him the most success. I hope he does win. You know what I'm saying? To tell you the truth, but they're not gonna let that man win. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just with. Whatever they got planned and all this shit that they got planned for us, this that's how it's going down. Only God gonna stop this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you think about the propaganda with Osama bin Laden being captured and murdered? Oh man, you know, I've been working so hard since I've been home. I really haven't been paying too much attention to it. But I can tell you from my years of studying that um, I don't believe nothing that they say. Like he's probably alive, chilling. You know what I mean? They don't believe their own story. They kept, they kept changing it. They said they said he was fighting back and shooting back and had a wife as his, you know, as his god. And then they changed the whole story up. Said he was armless. I mean, if you ask me, and my, my best opinion would be to say that he's alive still. That's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, CIA operative as well. Yeah, I don't think he's dead. Yeah. What do you think about 9/11 Truth and all the people who have been fighting for a new investigation? Do you think this is going to stop them? Um, that what's going to stop them for the, for the investigation because he been lying to him. Yeah. No, I don't think that shouldn't stop people from trying to find out the truth about something. Um, that should, they should still try to find out the truth about is he really dead or not? All that. Um, you know, I had family member that died in that building that day. And my cousin, you know, what I'm saying, died in there. And you know, to me, it's just mass murder, like a ritualistic murder that happened that day. You know what I mean? Um, they burnt, you know, the pentagram, blah, 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 let it lighten the pen pentagon on fire, you know what I mean? And they killed thousands of people all in one, at, all at one time. To me, that's a ritualistic murder, you know what I'm saying? What's the biggest smoking gun, you think, out of 9-11 that shows that people, we need a new investigation? The explosions. All the explosions, that um, there was bombs in there. You could see them going off on each floor, you know what I'm saying? Um... You know, I learned that from watching Loose Chains. Like that was one of the illest documentaries I ever seen, and and just the fact that you know that that that, that level of uh, fire and heat and from the from the um, jet fuel can't melt steel. That can't melt that kind of steel. Like you got actual building engineers and steel people telling you that can't happen. Yeah, there's over a thousand of them. Yeah, Lots like engineers. Like that can't happen. Yeah, yeah, can't. You got fire department people that telling you that bombs was going off that day. Why they were in the building. Yeah, many of them, my friends, who came out and said, the government's lying to you. I don't know if you know William Rodriguez. He's a janitor that worked in there. Nah. He heard bombs going off in the building before the planes even hit the building. Yeah, I mean, there was bombs going off. Um, you know, one of the fire, firemen dudes that, that said he, he witnessed bombs going off or whatever, whatever, he was in the hospital. Um, when he got released from the hospital, the motherfucker, I'm reading the paper. The mother, they said that he shot himself eight times in the head or the chest or some crazy shit like and committed suicide. Like how do you shoot yourself eight times anywhere if, if it's your head or your chest? How do you shoot yourself eight times and commit suicide? Same thing with Gary Webb. He uncovered uh, the drug smuggling into the United States with yeah. cocaine and Iran Contras. But one thing I don't like talking about a lot of negative stuff. One thing I deal with personally is solutions. What can we do to get out of this problem? Get out of this control, this slave system, this slave ship that we're all on right now.
Yeah, I think the um, I think the only thing that we could do is you know learn, so we can know what's going, be aware of what's happening. Um, that's number one, be aware, cause you don't want to walk around like a at dumb a yeah. dumbass. You don't know what the fuck is going on in your own fucking backyard. You don't even know what the fuck is going on in your own life in your house. Um, so be aware of what the fuck is happening in this world. Number one, number two, you know, share that with your family first. With your family, you know what I mean. You, you know, try to uh, make sense out of it. You know, and um, help your children to raise them right. You know what I mean. You by using that information that you learn um, to raise them correctly. You know, in a positive way and in a good way. Um, and then the next step would be to, um, you know, if possible, you know, try to share the information with other people. But usually that's not possible. Like, other people really don't, it, that's a touchy uh, issue right there. We try to share information with other people and try to, you know, get them to learn. And a lot of people are like, well, that's too much for me. I don't know all that. You know what I mean? Like, you bugging. You, 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 you into that, yeah, you into that science fiction shit. Like, you that's what the whole value system when you do that. Exactly. So, you, it's not for everybody. So, you got, you know, you know, try to share it with those that you think will be interested in that but other than that back off you know what I mean don't don't spread that information too much with people because they're gonna start looking at you like you crazy and it's gonna turn into a big mess like so you know that's what I would say start with yourself be aware you know pass that down to your family as much as possible and and the people that's around your friends as much as possible and that's it that's all you can do yeah, my biggest thing is not be afraid there's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, because cause God is going to come down and handle that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God is here. He ain't, ain't going to come down, but God is here. And trust me, um, you know, uh, evil uh, never wins in the end. You know what I mean? God always wins in yeah. the end. So, you know, that's that's all we could do is, uh, you know, pray for the best. You know, live a, live a positive life, healthy life. And just, uh, you know, do what you can do. You know, to, 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 to make through it, make it through, but it's really up to God at the end of the day because these motherfuckers are so powerful. There's nothing you can really do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I told I actually saw Henry Kissinger two weeks ago, and I told him, no matter what happens, you're going to have to be judged by God, and your soul is going to be hurting eternally if you don't repent and ask for forgiveness. Because, you know, picking stockpiling guns, and what the fuck you going to do? You know, they're going to drop bombs on your fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? They got the Air Force. Like, how you going to fight these people? There's no, you can't win that you war. You can't fight hatred over hatred. Yeah, you can't. There's no winning that war. You know what I'm saying? So. An eye for an eye makes the world blind. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think one way we could get out of it is we move out of it. Yeah. We stop participating and stop reacting and start acting towards the right way. And yeah, that's, that's why. That's what comes with along. It comes along with being aware of things. You know what I mean? So, you know, you know, try to take yourself out of certain things that, that, that you learn that's, that's, you know, not good. You know what I mean? Don't participate in that because now you're aware of that. You know what I'm saying? You know that's not where you belong. Not be fooled. Exactly, you know what I mean? Anything else you'd like to share? Um, yo, just shout out to Dr. York, you know what I mean? He's doing 135 years right now. Hold your head, dogs, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you gonna be all right, you know what I'm saying? You gonna be all right, dogs. Hold your head, man. All the people that's in the Wabian Nation, shout out to them. Um, to the people that turn your back on the Wabian Nation, fuck you. Um, shout out to Alex Jones, shout out to, um, you know, everybody, man, shout out to you, the people that make loose chains, and everybody that's not scared of these motherfuckers out here, that's willing to talk about it like this, because we're not scared, like, who gives a fuck, what you gonna do to me, son, like, for real, like, what you really gonna do to me? Well, couldn't say it any better, man. Real power is people, real strength is in the street where everybody's equal.